Okay everyone, I verified you can use three different methods to play Stellar Blade on your Mac, and now I want to tell you about them. But first, we need to get something important out of the way. Some of the suggested methods use cloud gaming, but why would anyone pick this over local play? For me personally, the main reasons are the ease of use, the convenience, and the ability to play with much better performance on weaker machines. The local methods work mostly okay for Stellar Blade, but there are certain limitations that take away from the experience, which is why some users may opt for streaming the game. This brings me to Boosteroid, the only cloud-based suggestion I've got for you at this moment. But is this even worth it, or is it just a laggy mess? From my personal experience with both Stellar Blade and other games I've tried with Boosteroid, the platform works very well as long as your internet connection isn't total trash. Obviously, there's going to be some minimal delay as with any cloud service, but it's just not something that had any effect on my time with Stellar Blade. As for the visual quality of the stream, Boosteroid is actually ahead of the curve here, because it offers both the cheapest and least bandwidth heavy way to stream your games at 4K and 120 FPS. It's a pretty good package all things considered, so I can honestly recommend it, especially for something like Stellar Blade. Using Boosteroid is super simple, just click the link in the description and register. You can even use your Google account, then you'll need to get a paid subscription, but I first recommend checking your internet connection to the closest Boosteroid server. This will give you a good idea of what streaming quality to expect and if this service will work well for you. Decided you want to give it a try? Then go to your profile and click the subscribe button to begin your subscription to Boosteroid. Then simply find the game in the search bar and launch it. Boosteroid is currently the only cloud streaming service that supports the AV1 codec as a feature, which is incredibly useful because it uses up to 50% less bandwidth than older formats. This effectively lowers the internet speed requirements while streaming with Boosteroid through your browser, which means that even if you've got a weak connection, you'll still get a smooth stream and crisp image quality, or you can just bring the image quality up if you've got good internet. But if cloud streaming's not your thing, here are some alternatives. First up is Crossover, which is the most stable way to play Stellar Blade locally. In my test using an M4 Max Mac with 32GB of memory, the game ran at a smooth 91 frames per second on medium settings and stayed comfortably above 80 on high. Weaker Max though? The game will still be playable on something like an M2 Pro MacBook with 32 gigs, but anything lower than that and you'll start noticing some serious stuttering even at the lowest settings. But if you've got a mid or high end machine and a bit of spare time, Crossover can be a valid solution, so here's how to get it going. For Crossover, follow the respective link below, register and either purchase the app or go for its 14 day free trial which is what I recommend. After Crossover downloads, launch it, install the app and create a new bottle from the bottle menu. Then go to install, find Steam and install it in the new bottle. Steam will start automatically, so close it, enable D3D Metal and M-Sync and then start Steam again. Next, find Stellar Blade in your Steam library and install it. After the install completes, you are ready to start the game through Steam in your crossover bottle. Whiskey is crossover's free but jankier cousin. It technically works on the same principle as crossover, but it's no longer supported by its dev and it's prone to encountering even more bugs and errors. Honestly, its sole draw is its $0 price tag, but everything else about it is just worse. You can give it a try if you want, but be warned that the hassle to get it to work with Stellar Blade may not be worth the money you saved. I simply cannot fit in this video all fixes, workarounds, and stopgap solutions that different users may need to apply to get Stellar Blade running smoothly in Whiskey. That's the thing about this method, the results you get can vary greatly depending on a ton of factors, and I simply cannot account for all of them. Therefore, I'll just show you the general way to set up Whiskey and install games in it. For a more detailed discussion on the do's and don'ts in Whiskey, check the article link in the video description. Now to set this up, First download the latest version of the Whiskey app from the provided link below and extract the zip file in your applications folder. Then you must create a new bottle with Windows 10 or 11 compatibility, then download an older version of Steam for Windows by clicking the respective link in the description. In Whiskey, open the C drive and place the Steam installer in it. Then click Run, open the installer, and install Steam in the Whiskey bottle. Next, you just need to download the game through Steam and start it from there. So that's it for today's video. For more content on Mac gaming, be sure to check our channel. Till next time.